Cube here in Brackley is home to one of the world's biggest supercomputers. This incredible processor is about a thousand times more powerful than the PC on which you're watching this show, and it allows Honda's experts to test a Grand Prix car on computer. This is the aerodynamic black art that is computational fluid dynamics. Henry, you're the man responsible for CFD here at Honda, but, but what exactly is this black art? People popularly describe it as uh, a wind tunnel inside a computer, but it's much more than that. This looks like a very funky TV graphic, but what, what exactly is going on here? Well, the streamlines we can see here, they show the airflow around the vehicle, and it allows us to minimise drag, perhaps maximise the downforce. If you look at the front wing itself, for instance, you can see it's a very three-dimensional shape these days. You can derive that sort of thing using optimizations in CFD. The processing power here is so great that calculations that would have once taken days can now be achieved in a single night. If you wanted to extend the wheelbase by 100 millimeters, we could quickly analyze that and perhaps have a result in, in the next day, whereas if you had to do that, uh, making physical parts that would take considerably longer. And be more expensive. Perhaps. And be more expensive, of course, yes. But such a huge brain generates not only a lot of noise, but also a lot of heat, which is why this supercomputer is water-cooled. Each bank of chips has its own radiator, just as you'd expect to see in your average family car. What do all these different colours actually mean? In this instance, this is coloured by velocity, so you can see the high-speed air in front of the vehicle, um, moving towards the back of the vehicle. We've taken a lot of energy out of the air. That's it's to provide the downforce. That's right, that's right. Uh, it generates quite a big wake, which is hurting the vehicle behind it. Right, that's the famous dirty air, then. That's right. And the, presumably the whole task, just with any aerodynamics, is to find the, you know, the best compromise between drag and downforce. That's right. We want to make the vehicle as efficient as possible. 